Welcome to Friday, guys. If this is your first time here, this is Train Enable, and I'm Kyle. We go over all things fitness here. If this is not your first time, welcome back. I appreciate you. Remember that we are going through some home workouts, and we have been for a while. So if you haven't checked out the playlist, I'll throw it up here. Um, and there's a whole lot there if you get bored staring at the same four walls during this kind of self-containment period. So today we're gonna to be working for 20 minutes total. It's a 20 minute AMRAP, so as many rounds as possible. We're going 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 reps of a couple different movements. So not too many weighted options today, so we're just kinda of power through this, show you guys what we're doing, then we'll get after it. It's a full body home workout, and we're gonna do 50 flutter kicks to start off. So we're gonna go right, left, one, right, left, two. So it's on a two count. So if it makes more, more sense for you just to do 100 movements of the legs, that'll be whatever floats your boat. So it comes to the floor. Legs are gonna be straight. You can use your arms to kind of support your butt. Legs are straight, like I said. We're gonna keep them low. One, two. Okay, and you're gonna just keep that movement consistent for those 50, okay? It's movement one, flutter kicks. Movement two, if you have those dumbbells, we're gonna do the curl and press for 40 reps. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with two and then how to do it with one. So you'll come up, press, back down. Always trying to keep those arms straight at the top as well as straight at the bottom. If you're like, well, Kyle, I only have like a 50 pound dumbbell. I can't really curl those you have the option to hold it like so, and then you'll curl, press, but now you get use of both arms to help that weight up. Again, if you just have an ungodly amount of weight on that dumbbell, then you can use a different rep scheme, okay? That's movement two. Movement three, we're gonna do the glute bridge, and I'm gonna show you a couple options here. So option one will be kind of your standard glute bridge, where we come to the floor, Heels are planted, I'm gonna squeeze the butt so the glutes bring the whole hips up, back down. That'll be the easiest, cause it's kind of a short range of motion. So what I like to do is I can kind of turn and I can use my couch, bed, chair, whatever I got to elevate the shoulders. And then I can do the glute bridge here to where I'm getting a little bit bigger range of motion through that hip joint. Cool, that's movement three. 30 glute bridges. Then, if you guys haven't caught on to the trend, we've been a little sit-up crazy this week because we're gonna do 20 sit-ups. Again, exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna lay down, use those arms, whoop, sit up. Last but not least, we're going to do 10 dumbbell down-ups, if you have them. So, dumbbell, boom, got them. I'm going to come down, then I'm going to come up, right? So it's kind of like a down up deadlift, okay? If you don't have dumbbells, that last one, you're just gonna do the normal down up. If you're like, awesome, how am I gonna do the clean and press or the curl and press? Again, like we did a couple days ago, grab a book, pillow, chair, whatever you got, curl it up, press it overhead. Whew. Hopefully it's heavier than a pillow. So you got a book, wine bottle, backpack, whatever you got. So like, comment, share, subscribe, have fun, work hard, get sweaty, don't die. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a home workout. All right, audio check. My dog's staring at me from over there.